So let's all welcome our precious senior pastor, a friend, a brother, my 911. I call him always. <laughs> my GPS. And he can be yours too. Let's welcome Pastor Manny Ross. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So glad to be here this uh, afternoon to see uh, familiar uh, uh, faces. It's good, it's good to see you. <clears throat> Amen. Praise God. Uh, on behalf of uh, Gia Sousa, uh, we are uh, congratulating the Gia San Fernando for uh, how many years now? Six years. six years. Wow, six years anniversary. With me is my wife, uh, Christy, yeah. and our uh, fellow elder, the Ate Marlene. <clears throat> praise God. Amen. Uh, so praise you the Lord. Amen. So let's um uh Ate Arlene told me that uh, our text is in John chapter 15. This is our theme. Our theme today is abiding in the vine. Or my title is Abiding in Christ. So let's all stand and open our Bible in John chapter 15. John chapter 15. Let's read from verse 1. I'm the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. Amen. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are al already clean because of the words which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides Abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire. And they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall come, it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also love you. Abide in my life. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all things that I heard from my father, I have made, to, made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask in the Father in my name, he may give you. These things I command you that you love one another. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace and mercy this afternoon. We thank you, Lord God. We are here with our brethren in Gia San Fernando, celebrating their anniversary, O oh God. We thank you, Lord God, throughout the years we have seen your faithfulness, O oh God. We have seen your unseen hand moving and directing and leading and carrying them, Father. Hallelujah. And today, Lord God, we allow and invite your Holy Spirit to speak, not just to them, but to all of us, that we may hear clearly, Lord, what your Spirit is saying to us. Hallelujah. Lord. Uh, by, by my voice alone, I have no power. You alone has the power, Lord God, to change our heart, our life. Yes. To transform us for the better, oh God. Yes. Let your word, God, do your works in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Praise, praise God. Uh, we may sit down. Amen. So, praise God. Uh, we... To, uh, we are celebrating Gia San Fernando uh, uh, six years anniversary, you know. And this year, the desire of, uh, of your uh, leader here in the, in Gia San Fernando is that all of you 
will abide in the vine. That we will learn to abide in Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. So in, today we will learn about uh, what is abiding means. What do we mean when we say abide? What is the purpose of abiding? Yes. And um, what is abiding versus striving? Oh. Are you striving or are you abiding? Amen. And then we will learn how, what is what is the steps to make sure that we are abiding. Amen. The and Lord. the results of abiding. Number one, so Jesus said, now, did you notice that Jesus said, uh, so that's the, our title abiding in Christ amen so number one I want you to notice Jesus said I'm the true vine Amen. You know, when I read the Bible, I always, my, my pastor who trained me, my, who discipled me, uh, when I, I'm beginning you know, to study, he said to me, always ask the Bible with five W's and what? One H. The five W's is what, why, when, where, who. Ask that question. When you read the Word of God, don't just read it as a comics, he said, as a magazine. You read it asking questions. And so that, that's five W and what? One age, and that age is how. And through that, you know, I learn and I grow in my reading of the Bible. So when I read that, the first word that catch my um, my my attention is uh, Jesus said, "I'm the true vine." And I said, "Lord, why you why you see why you why you said you are the true vine? Is there any false vine? Is there any fake vine? Yes. Why why you said I am the true vine? Why not just said I am the vine?" The Bible could just said, I am the vine. Look at your Bible. I, I, at least three, three uh, uh, version, NIB, New King James, New Living. It's all say, I am the true vine. So I ask this, that question. Lord, why, why did you say, I am the true vine? The Bible? Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. <clears throat> are, are there... Fake vines? Are there false vines? Diba? So, tinanong ko ang Panginoon. So, Lord, is there any false vine in, in my life? You see, what is a vine? A vine is the one who energizes, who supply light to the branch. Amen? It, 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 it's where the branch draw its strength. Amen? The, the, uh, the branch cannot bear fruit without the, the nourishment that the vines give. So, anything that we get our source of energy and strength you know that is another bind in our life it could be your work yes. right? it could be it could be uh, um, you know your office no it, it, it could be even your family your spouse it could be even your children amen that's why probably the lord asked abraham can you give me your son isaac now i have two children but none of them, if you ask me if I can give to you, in fact, it happens in our life. What, what, uh, Paul, when he was, uh, I think, uh, maybe seven or eight years old, no? uh, the Korean missionary back in the, uh, in the Philippines, asked me if he can give, if, if I can give my, uh, you remember that, you know, if I can give my uh, son to him, and he will bring it to, uh, Korea. to Korea, and he will send us, Ticket every six months to visit Paul. I told him, no, I have two, I have two children, but you cannot take Paul. I, I, I told him, no. <clears throat> he wants me to, uh, he said that he, he loves Paul and he wants Paul to study in Korea. I said, no. <laughs> no? Uh, so God asked Abraham, Abraham, can you give uh, your son Isaac to me? No, And we, we see God tested him because he wants to see if God is the true vine. If God is the true source of Joy for Abraham is the true source of strength. So Jesus said here in our first text, I am the true vine. Amen. He is the true vine. Is Jesus the true vine of your life? Are you connected to him? 